Okay. Let me rewind. Okay. Today I will be evaluating Philip on his speech. Um, he will do it will be 10 to 20, 10 to 12 minutes in length. Philip will present a speech titled My Toastmaster Journey. Uh, the purpose of the speech is to give Philip the opportunity to share his journey as he go and complete this pathway. Back to you, Madam a General Evaluator. Thank you, Stephanie. It is Wednesday, still early in the week after a long weekend. All right, Phil, are you ready? Philip Wilkerson, my Toastmaster's journey. My Toastmaster's journey, Philip Wilkerson. The floor is yours. Hello, fellow Toastmasters. Uh, I ask and request that this presentation be recorded. So if you are not comfortable with being on camera, uh, please turn your video off. But I wanted to give you opportunity to turn your video off as this presentation is being recorded. And I'd like to also upload this to YouTube. So maybe take a brief moment, two seconds, while Raji puts record for you to have an opportunity to turn your camera off. And Raji, please give me the thumbs up when we're good. Thank you. So this is a presentation style. And so I would love just an opportunity to share with you my journey in Toastmasters. As you know, uh, I am uh, very, very excited uh, to be a Toastmaster, and I would love to commemorate one of my most recent accomplishments with you all. Just recently, as in today, I completed another pathway, which is the presentation mastery, mastery pathway. And so for you, please humor me for those either watching live or watching later on YouTube with a few exercises. And I threw a link in the chat, which you can use uh, later on that I'm gonna ask you to use later on in the presentation. So just a little bit about, you, about me. My name is Philo Wilkerson. I'm a higher ed professional. I'm a host of a podcast. Uh, I'm also a public speaker. I say these things because it wasn't recent till Toastmasters, or well, it wasn't recently until I had all these identities with confidence but it was Toastmasters that made me more confident saying, I am a public speaker. I am a host of a podcast. So with that, because that we will go in my presentation, but if you also have a moment and you're interested in learning more and getting to know me, feel free to use my new friend survey. I love connecting with new people. So the link that I put in the chat, either you can use your QR code or go to slido.com and use the number. But I want to take a moment and learn a little bit about you all and take a brief moment and know what are your goals for Toastmasters. So please share with me for a few moments. Let's take a minute of time. I want to see what are some of your goals with Toastmasters. And as we were putting our responses, uh, I will make sure to send this to the club later. Yes, I love it. Become a better leader. Improve my public speaking skills. Get um out of my vocabulary. So please continue to put those in because I actually am glad to connect with you all. These were some of my goals as well. So just a little bit about my Toastmasters experience. I joined July 1st, 2019. Since being a member of Toastmasters, I was able to become VP of Public Relations, become president of this club, become VP of Public Relations again, Area 24 director, and also a charter member and founder of Alpha Toastmasters. Why do I relay this? Well, because from day one, when I joined in July 1st, 2019, I had no idea that my Toastmasters journey would also encompass not only getting better as a public speaker, but also becoming better as a leader. And so I did not think in day one that going from that meeting, that first meeting in July 1st, then being just a member, I would also have all these other roles and responsibilities. And so hopefully throughout this presentation, I motivate you to take your Toastmasters journey beyond just our club and go toward leadership responsibilities. So list of accomplishments as a Toastmaster. I already com I completed a separate pathways because I 
uh, look working toward my DTM, I completed a DTM project, which was to migrate all our information from Dropbox to Microsoft Teams. I created a cr club success plan while being president of this club. I've also placed an area contest and club contest, and I've presented as a guest in numerous clubs within District 29. All these accomplishments were because I followed the education pathways that are outlined in Toastmasters, as well as I wanted to be a good and effective leader while I was president in my other roles. Oh, sorry, thank you. And so one of the things to think about, and I would love to share in regards to mentorship, is ways that you can take full advantage of your Toastmasters experience. Toastmasters is beyond table topics. It is completing your pathways. It is going toward that DTM. It is serving in a leadership role, whether as a president or VP or secretary. And it's also getting outside your comfort zone and participating in conference uh, contest. And putting yourself out there to the general club and being open to being a guest speaker throughout District 29. I believe that your holistic Toastmasters experience is what you make it. It is completing an education, it is taking on leadership roles, it's participating in conferences or contests, and it's also becoming a guest speaker. And so if you align and get all those holistic experiences, you will elevate and your journey in Toastmasters will be robust, full, and something that you would commemorate with not only your family and friends. So Toastmasters has also infused or helped me outside of this. Through Toastmasters, I was awarded, or because of Toastmasters, I became a leader on campus. I was recently awarded the Margaret C. Howell Award, which was someone dedicated to diversity, equity, and inclusion here at George Mason. And the reason I achieved that award is because I took the ideals of public speaking and motivating others outside of the club to other roles on campus. I created a black male faculty and staff group here at George Mason. I helped relaunch the working dads group. And the reason why I put the working dads group because it was the motivation of other members in this club, such as Heather, who is really leading the way in the working moms group. I was named Northern Virginia recipient of the 40 under 40. And I was also admitted to GMU's com uh, communications PhD program. I attribute all these things to my involvement in Toastmasters. And I can go down committing to a diverse environment. Well, our club right here is a diverse environment. We have members in our club that are working parents, that are uh, seasoned veterans, that are actually veterans of the military and armed services, that are working students, grad students, PhD students. So that exposure within this club has made me more informed about the importance of diverse, diversity, equity, inclusion. Also, the organization that we've used, creating Microsoft Teams, that's helped me translate that experience to organizing the Black male faculty and staff group. Or my experience with the Toastmasters listserv has helped me with the experiences of running the Black male leadership or Black male faculty and staff uh, uh, listserv. And then the PhD in communication. I really believe that my spark in media and talking and public speaking was started in Toastmasters. And I don't think I would have got the confidence to actually even apply for a PhD uh, in communication if it wasn't for the confidence of Toastmasters. I've actually put Toastmasters in my experience on my, on my personal statement. I, was, I had to draw a blank. But in my personal statement, I talked about how public speaking and communication was very important to me. And Toastmasters was something that helped me grow that. So outside of my Toastmasters experience uh, was a great influence. Now, I want to zoom in on this actual presentation mastery pathway. There was a few projects that really stood out to me within this pathway. And I'm going to outline them here. As you know, or for those that don't know, an education pathway that comes with multiple levels and multiple projects, both embedded or as electives. And so through the presentation mastery, which I think was a very robust program that had different things that got me outside my comfort zone, I was able to do projects that I believe 
will help me in my real life. So for instance, intro to mentoring. Well, as you know, I am a mentor to a few members of this club. Geneva, she's one of my mentees. Lisa, she's one of my mentees. And so for me to be an effective mentor, it was really great that I had an actual intro to mentoring pathway or lesson, which had really comprehensive steps and strategies on how to be an effective mentor. And hopefully I am an effective mentor to my mentees, both within the club and outside the club. Making connections with networking. That is one pathway that I really enjoy. I'm a very extroverted person, but I've never thought about being as strategic with networking. The pathway had a actual strategy on when you go to a big event, what are your goals for that event? How are you gonna connect with people? What are your takeaways? So that pathway on making connections through networking was very, very helpful to my professional development. And I'm going to use those strategies throughout the summer as I attend. Uh, conferences and professional development. Recently, as some of you were there, I had a, a project called Managing a Difficult Audience. And so that, that was really, really eye-opening on how do I remain calm when I have multiple distractions during a presentation, whether I have people disagreeing with me or interrupting me. And so that one was really, really helpful because not only was it something I read about, but we actually implemented it in real time. And so that project, I think, would be useful, and I'm something I'm going to use. Create a podcast. I'm a podcast creator, but just having an outline or a guide on being more effective, I've actually implemented with my normal podcast, and so it's helped me be more strategic. Prepare to speak professionally. I've actually want to become a public speaker, so having this as a structured outline has helped me think about the ways that I promote myself as a public speaker. And lastly, moderating a panel discussion, which I do in my normal nine to five. So hopefully this is a quick snapshot of how certain pathways do have projects that will actually help outside in your normal life. So I encourage you not only with presentation mastery, but all your projects to really think, how can I incorporate these projects in other ways outside of my life? the impact. So as we went to the beginning, I saw that some of the people shared their goals and I'm really happy because those were some of my goals as well. I believe that Toastmasters has helped me become more organized as a public speaker, having a structure and a framework to my speeches. I think it's also developed my leadership style and confidence. I do now thoroughly believe I am a leader both within this club and my job and in my community. And that's because I've followed through with the pathways and the projects and taking on leadership roles. It's helped me become more organized in projects because the projects were forced on me through pathways. Now I'm taking that same structure of developing a team, setting benchmarks and taking that project management experience to my normal life. And honestly, it's made me more confident holistically as a person. I feel like I walk with my shoulders up and my, my, my head proud and head up uh, uh, because of this experience in Toastmasters. So hopefully the future goals I have, I want to become a public speaker. I want to monetize my podcast. I want to continue with my PhD journey. I want to go on vacations and travel more. And I want to take both more leadership roles, both at George Mason and within professional associations that I'm in. Hopefully, I obtain my DTM. I put times two because some, I've actually talked to one of my uh, mentors and I have the capabilities of getting two DTMs because I've done a lot. Uh, I want to become an accredited public speaker. I want to serve as area 21 director next year. And maybe, just maybe, I want to be a division director. I don't know. So just lastly, I want to end with this in that same thing. Did my presentation motivate you to achieve your goals? And for those that are not sure, please feel free to follow up with me because as I said earlier, I had mentors and people that reach out to me. And so if you're not sure if my presentation did not motivate you, which is totally okay, talk to me offline and I would love to support you in your Toastmasters journey. Thank you very much. Excellent job, Philip. Thank you so much for sharing your journey and your goals. We're all here to help and support you in 
those goals coming up in this new Toastmaster year.